mute it.
Hi team, everyone join. Yes, sir. Hello? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everyone able to see my screen? So, uh, last week we discussed right controller analyzer, these all things. So, uh, same way I told right, we have the performance monitor or HPLM we have. So, I will show you for today how to we can log in and after login what we can do and how to we can import the script upload the script and how to we can design a scenario i will explain for today class uh, i think this is the very big uh, okay it's fine okay everyone able to see right so actually what is the difference already i told right uh, like controller and same to the performance monitor so going to the controller already we seen, but in performance monitor, nothing but this a web-based application. Like see, this is the PC, HTTP, some local, this there, right? This is the URL of the performance monitor. So once you can log in this, right? You can open this link. It will ask for the login details, like your name, your password, and your domain, like it's a banking or insurance, and it is asked for the your project. So you can observe here, uh, this is my employee ID, this is a domain and this is the project name is a empower. And after that, once we can log in, once we can log in this successfully, we are able to see the this screen. So this screen you can observe here, expand the testing section. We have that testing is there, right? You can observe here testing is there. So once we can expand this, we are able to see the here test resource and test to plan at test to lab and time slot and test to run. So this all will be in the testing part. We have the some each and every one with different type of, okay. So you can observe here and you can observe expand testing section from the left hand side panel, click on test plan and select for the subject root and click on folder and new folder icon mouse pointing provide a name is newly created folder so here you can observe here one dot is there you can click on that it is a new folder it will be we want to create for the any test means in the test plan only we need to create so once you can click on test plan so you can click on the new folder so once you can create the new folder then we are able to see like this so this will be, I will share to everyone also. Okay, you can keep it and no problem. Okay, after that, you are created, 
one uh, performance test is the one of the folder that is the new folder we are created performance test in that performance test we need to add the our script like we need to upload the script so you can observe here here in the below screenshot i have given name as a views and scripts so the script name i given as a views and script for the newly created folder means what is the created right we are folder i given that folder name is the views and script and select a newly created folder like in views and script and click on upload views and scripts means you need to select this and here will be upload will be there you can observe arrow is there right this is the arrow nothing but is upload the script you can click on this upload button upload vision i can mouse pointing it now you can see a upload script pop up window see this pop up window will open and once pop up window will open we need to select the button and choose the required script these all available scripts so one thing is a very important while you are the uh, uploading the script into the performance center or hplm means you need to zip this script so you can observe only zipped file only can be uploaded so but in controller we are directly script is pushing but here you need to zip it each and every script you need to zip and this all will be available script so which script you need to upload you can select that script and click on upload button see you can observe after that click on upload button then at a time we can upload for the five different scripts so how many scripts you want to upload you can select and you can click on open then so we can see the scripts like this one script two script three script all scripts will be displayed like this and after uploading script select a single script as shown below now the protocol type and date of creation so you can just click on the that script so in the views and script we are uploaded this script you can click on that and here you need to give for the select single script and uh, know the protocol type and date of creation like which date you are created you need to give for the date of the creation and select subject root folder and click on new folder icon provide name in newly created folder here below screenshot i have name as a test lab see here we have the one more there that is the test lab in the test lab newly created folder select newly created for test lab click on the new test means which text we are creating we are giving as a new test icon provide the test name like is a test dot low test or any kind of stress test or so you need to give for the test name type as a perform test means you can give for the perfect performance low test performance stress test performance endurance test you can give for the creation date and click on okay so we need to give for the creation date like we are creating now only right so you can give for the today date like in december 1st so after that click on okay button so after created for the newly created folder in the test lab we are created right in the test lab you can observe here in the below screenshot test i lab this is the test i lab my new test click on that edit test option in the mouse pointing so where it is mouse pointed right you can observe edit test you can click on this edit test so once you can click on edit test what will happen right edit option is the mouse pointing after that select any workload model type as a see after that how see in controller here also same but here what is the difference means we are creating the folder in that uh, script folder right we are creating views and scripts you need creating the user and script after that you are creating the test so you are giving for the test name like is low test or stress test after that you are clicking edit button after edit you are able to select for the workload type like is a schedule by scenario a schedule by group a real world model basic model you need to select for the each script based on for the you are giving for the schedule by scenario or schedule by group after click on this select script option you can see the script tree like what are the scripts will be there we are able to see all scripts in the menu bar a right side panel see this all will be we are uploaded 
and uh, expand the subject folder right side panel expand all for all the other folders until you see your scripts means you have the, how many scripts you have you want to see means you can expand for this and you are able to see the see for example you have 20 scripts you want to miss you can click on this uh, arrow and you are selected for that script and once you can select that script what will happen right select whatever script you want click on arrow button and mouse pointing so this is the arrow once you can select this and click on this arrow then it's script will be added here like here we need to give for the number of users and script name group name nothing but script name and uh, it is asking for the script type load generators it will ask see that is the next step we can see after adding scripts the window looks like i have selected two scripts in the group a folder see you can observe we are selected two scripts so just you are selected and click on add button it is added this script and after that you are say click on this script and you can click on add it will add it here so i have selected two options means two scripts we are selected after that we can click on save button then it is the validation it will show maybe you did anything wrong it is the validate and it's showing as an error means you did for the everything good like is a, a test design and everything good you are able to see the these things and after that now we have to convert required app servers so i told right we have the servers will be there app servers web server db server and their counters counter nothing but cpu memory using for the monitoring tool this is called side scope under test to resource category so you can observe here we have the test to resource will be there so when you are uh, logging this script we can see the one more so here also we can see you can observe this is the test to resource actually everything we are doing on the test plan only in the test plan only we are creating the folder and uh, that folder we are giving script in that script we are uh, giving for the like what are the scripts we have we, need, we are uploading after you upload the script we are creating the test so that is also we are creating from the here only and we are after that we can click on edit test and after that we are adding those scripts and now you should monitor the test means using for the size scope, performance, app dynamics, dynamics means we have the test resource will be there. This is the test resource. Everyone able to see? So in the test resource, how to we can add for the web server, app server, DB server means we can see now. see uh, we are before doing for the and uh, like performance center we need to how we did in performance same way we are logging to the application because performance is a standard LN application means desktop based application but site scope also is a monitoring tool so using for the site scope this is the url you need to log in this url and after logging right you are able to see the this and on monitor, right click on site scope and select a new group. And we need to select for the new group. And see here we are creating for the select site scope in that creating for the new group. In the new site scope group section, enter your name as a group name. Like you can give it as a uh, test or you can give for the what is the comfort as per your, you can give for the name. Here they are given as a group name. See, we are given group name and after that you can go to the next step. After that, we can click on OK button. After entering the group name, the newly created group will be visible in the list of displayed monitor tab. Like in this display tab, we can see the that group name. Like we are given as a group name, right? So after that, we are able to see the here. See, maybe you are created as a M power. Then we are able to see the in the temp power, we have the different uh, servers. So you can observe web server and uh, app servers. These all will be app servers. You are added this all servers. How many servers you have? You already added this all servers. 
see in the we are created folder lending space in that also we can see find the selected newly created group and right click on that group name and select new group enter a general group name with the web server and click on okay see we are creating for the lender office and web server see lending office we are created for the web server and after create for that web server select a new group created above monitor list and right click on select a new group and enter server name as the group name click on okay means you need to give for the server name like ts uh, app 01 or web 01 or db 01 you can give for this so you can observe here we can see this this is the app server you can observe this is the a nothing but app server w nothing but web server so we have the six app servers and we have the six web servers and this is the sql nothing but these are the db servers so we are created folder name lending office and web server repeat the same steps add all web servers app servers and sql servers means you need to add for the all servers how we are created right you can click on group name and after that enter the server and you are able to see the all servers like this how many servers we have you are added all servers so after that choose the microsoft window resource resources and whichever performance counter would you like to add like click on get servers and server you would like to add the counter for click on measurements and choose the object instances and counter and add click on add so they are selected in the bottom of the window and note that the get measurement button is only visible for the monitor chosen in the microsoft windows resource only see we are after that we can click on dialog box and you can selecting for the measurements measurements nothing but cpu memory so after that you can select for that uh, is a dot net or a microsoft anything you click on okay so you can see the, the down window notice selected measurement as a new counter list so what are the counters we are added that will be it will we can see the in the new list click on okay see above we need to click on okay now new measurement is showing the list on the left so left side we can see the like this see we are added server names like cpu memory disk and windows resource means what are the counters we need like it is a db counters means you can add db counters if you want for the cpu memory you can add for the cpu memory so like this we need to add In most of the cases, counters displayed in the below should be added as the all boxes. See, you can observe this is the like as the boxes. In order to see the uh, W3 listed in dot Alexer box, that is just note only. So after completing for the site score configuration, as of now what we did, we did only site score configuration. So nothing will be different. The difference what means there we are there uh, like in performance we are creating for the uh, like we can go to the data collector set and a new group we are creating and we are giving group name and after that creating the group name we are adding for the our counters like CPU memory counters. And after that, we are doing for the like start time end time. But here we are doing for the same way we are doing, but some different will be like it's a web based application. And we need to create for the each and as a one folder. Like you are creating for the new folder. In that new folder, you need to create for the app server will be different, and web server will be different, and the DB server will be different. In the app server, a DB server, you need to add for the CPU memory counters, how we are they are added the same way we can add it. After that configuration, everything is completed. Then again, we can come to the performance center and expand the testing section left hand side and click on the test resource. So we have the test resource will be there. You can click on this test resource. 
and select a resource root folder, click on new folder icon and provide a name newly created folder. And you can create for the newly created folder like this. And after that, we can give it as a name test lab and the test server. In the test server, we need to add the monitor icon. Like we need to add for the, this is the monitor icon. You can see star mark is there, right? That is the add monitor. You can click on that add monitor. Then we need to add the monitors. Like click on require monitor, like Windows resource side scope, Apache. Here you can click on the side scope. I have set up the side scope and monitoring tool for server. So that is why you need to select to see these all will be different type of product, uh, monitoring tools. Otherwise you are doing dynamics, app dynamics, you can select app dynamics. Maybe you are doing performance, you can select here performance. Maybe you are doing for the side scope, then you need to select for the side scope. You can observe this is the side scope. Provide the server name. After that, we need to provide the server name. Like server, nothing but it's app server or DB server. We need to provide that server name here. So after click on get counter button, add the required counters as a particular app server or DB server, web server, whichever is configured in the side scope. Means side scope, what are the servers we are added? Like app 01, app 02, app 04, up to app 06 added. And web servers we are added. Web 01, Web 02, and up to Web 06, we are added. As same to the SQL point of view, DB point of view, we are added SQL and SQL 1 and SQL 2 added. So, what are you are added? See, you can observe all web server which you configure in the side scope, then click on save button. After that, what are there? You need to check this one all, and after that, click on save button. And your everything will be saved, all monitors. And after saving, you can see the monitoring configuration below. So after configuration, we can see the like this monitoring point of. So in the lab resource under this section, mainly configure for the load generators and controllers, which are required to running load test. And controller and load generator machines are also called as a testing hosts. See if it is controller or load generator will be there. So that will be, we can call it as a host. Host nothing but what? 127.0.0.1. That is the one host. Maybe one more host means 101.97.97.91. So this kind of things only we need to consider as a load generators. So to convert testing hosts, performance center required PC administrator. So please follow the below steps. Means we want to for the anything means we need to follow these steps also. So like this we can do and after that we can do for the execution. I will show that execution where we can do and what is the use of that. Yeah, no, we are in the room. See now test lab. So we have the how many tabs we have uh, in the testing. Once you can expand, we can see the test resource and test plan and the test lab and the time slot and one more is a run. So now we are finished for the test plan and the test resource. Test plan what we did just we are uh, uploaded script. After uploaded script, we are design the scenario like how many number of users we are executing, how many load generates uh, we need to add and what is the schedule by scenario, schedule by group and what is the ramp up, ramp down. These all things we did in the test plan. In the test resources, we can add it for the servers. What are the servers we are monitoring? We are added that. And after added for the monitors, then we can come to the test lab is one of the 
tab. So you can click on the test lab. We need to create for the new folder, like in project environment. Under newly created folder, give for the new test. See, you can give it as a here. You can give it as a new test. And click on new test sector icon. Test lab will be category. Select newly created test set and then click on select test tab. So we can click this one and here we can click on for the this one selected tests. Select the required test from the right side pan and click on move arrow icon. Then selected test will be appear under new test set pan. So these all will be test loop. So what are we are creating the test plan? So the test will be displayed here, like in a, we have the low test test rate, right? So what is the test name you are given in that everything will be come here. Can click on this and click on this arrow button. Then it will add it here. So we have this all group here, group is there, right? All will be added here. Using for this, just click this and click on add. Click this, click on add. After newly created folder is done, right? You can click on edit test tab. And here I have selected a group test. So you can observe, you can select any one of the test and we can see that. And after that, selected test can have one script or more. Here we can see the four scripts which are clubbed in a, into group A. So we can come here. You can observe, we have the four scripts total. We can select either test to be run in the schedule by scenario or schedule by group or simultaneously or run mode. You can select for the ramp up, ramp down, number of virtual user point of view. So we can click on this button. We can see this. And after that, we can either select a specific controller. We can choose the automatic dedicated controller. So performance center will pick controller from the available controllers. So what are the controllers we have? It will be displayed. So we need to select for the available one, which is the available you need to use because this is the web-based application, right? Maybe you can log in your credential. Maybe I will also log in and same project we can see. Maybe when I am using for that controller, you can't use because that is not available. So you need to select for the any one of the this. Click on the monitors menu and left side panel, click on add monitor profile option. So we need to click on this and click on add monitor profile option. Select the required monitor profiles, like what are the servers we have. We need to select those and monitor profiles will be displayed, whichever have configured under test resource category. Already test resource, we are added servers. So those all will be displayed here. So now one more option is the time slot. Click on time slot option, left side panel under testing section. In the testing section, one more, we have the time slot. Window appear, once you can click on the time slot, right? You can observe this is the time slot. Once you can click on time slot and we can click on the time slot option. In that, you can observe that this will be, it will be look like this. For here, it is already names and everything will be there, miss. That time will be someone will be booked for this timings. So you need to check for the availability. Like see, it's a free there, right? Like open uh, free spaces, like uh, white color is there, right? That is the available timings. You need to click on that and you can select for that timings. Once time slot reservation, click on blank cell and reserve the time slot. Once you can click on the right, it will be booked the, like this. See, if everything is a green color means your available will be there this test. After that, you need to go for the start time and end time. Like what time you are starting your test and what time you are ending your test. You need to give, for example, you are giving one hour, one hour, you can give for the one hour test. Like which time, see, 
in controller we need to click on the run button but here maybe uh, now 740 i want to execute for the night 2 o'clock then you can select for the 2 o'clock and give for the 2 to 3 means 1 hour right you can give for the 2 to 3 start time end time you can give so that time automatically the test will be done that is the main disadvantage from the controller to in performance center so here we can do for these things and uh, Resolved after resolved successfully. If you enter the, the timings and everything, we are able to see the green color tick mark. Means if uh, the test is the available, you have so you need to that is the side scope and performance monitor are same to the uh, side scope and performance monitor or HPLM also. It will be looked like this. Song. So, anyone any doubt? This is the everything I am only prepared. So real time point of because real time we don't show because all companies not accept for this. So that is why I prepared for my own how to we can create the folders, how to we can do for testing. So all things I prepare. Once you can go through this document, you can understand for that little bit. And after that, you can check with the like options. So everything will be same only, but we have the testing in the testing section, we have the test plan and test lab and test resource and time slot and run will be there. Okay. So anyone, any doubt? We can go to close class. Tomorrow, we'll, I will explain for the, uh, this uh, web service testing. Okay. Thank you for joining everyone. We'll meet tomorrow also same time. Thank you. Bye. Okay.